guys. I have a big uh, thing I got for Easter. Well, I was very shocked to see this. Look. Yes, Casablanca Fan Company. This must be a big deal because Casablanca is pretty legendary amongst fan collectors. I was shocked to see this and it's from 1983. See the copyright thing, this is 1983. And I know of a couple other fan collectors that have it, like a Zap Boon here. Well, well, that's his main account's Warren Fan Guy, but he he uploaded it on his second account, which is still, which is called Zapping Here. Warren, Warren has one, and Anthony has one too. There might be a few other people, but but that's when I checked YouTube. I looked up Casablanca fan book. So I think this is a Panama Five with other blade arms. I think this is Zephyr blade arms, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot. I'll have to watch the video. I think it. This is also a Panama 5 with Four Seasons Blade Arms. I can't remember which one is which, but it's not necessarily a catalog, it's a fan book. Mm. Table of Contents, Chapter 1, Why Ceiling Fans. This is a long thing, I have to, if I have a lot of I mean, I'm going to be quarantined, but we're going to be doing online school, so. But I'll probably still have some time. I might read this. If I have no absolutely nothing to do. A few of any items found in the home can match ceiling fans combination. You guys can uh, pause right now. I want to reread that. And then once you're done, I'll turn the page. There's a picture. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not that great with Casablanca fans, to be honest. Oh, figure one one. <laughs> Let's see. Where does it say it? Combination of outward beauty. Figure outward beauty. This is what they mean. <laughs> it's black and white. I don't think stuff is black and white because feel. I think the pictures in this book are black and white, but the cover and the back cover. But I know it's a Panama 5. I don't know if the light kit's original. It might be. With different blades. Um, and same for this picture, too. I want the Panama 5, because figure 1 1 ceiling fans combine with beauty. A ceiling fan can force cool air downward in the summer. Left as well as circulate warmer in the winter. And then pause this if you want to read that. And pause this if you want to read this. Ceiling fans can be used on a porch or patio just as long as they are carefully located. I hope that's not an indoor fan because, you know, I wonder if they had outdoor fans back then. I don't think they did back because this is from 1983. But I think in the 90s, fan company, like, huh, like Outdoor Original by Hunter. A recreation room is a good place for a ceiling fan. I think this is a Casablanca Zephyr, I don't know. Pause this if you want to read. Ceiling fans are proud history. Pause this if you want to read. A treadle operated fan used foot power to produce a zephyr, leaving hands free. Huh. A summer's E. Nowadays you won't. Yeah, back in the then the eighties, that was like the first ever fan created. Then the eighties, Cosmo came with IntelliTouch, so you could just turn it on and control by the wall. But 
I think a remote would be more handy, actually, because you could actually use control from you don't have to actually get up to touch the uh, control by the wall. You could just, like, just sit in your bed and just turn, change the speed to the fan based on your comfort. The tree up. Yeah, we're doing that. Summer's Ease, as depicted in a 19th century British caricature, is produced by a mech mechanical contraption that fans, fans the body, cracks nuts, and serves wine too. Huh. And then read this. We'll pause this if you want to read it. And then pause this if you want to read this whole page. Pause right here if you want to read this. Figure 1 7. The 1849 Bellows rocking chair had tubes for perfumes to deodorize as well as cool. <laughs> a rocking chair armed with bellows and an adjustable hair hose, air hose, excuse me, was patented in 1869. Well, it's like a hose, with, but just cool air. <laughs> Uh, read this, pause this if you want to read. In an age when a shave and haircut were also five cents, a cartoonist spoofed the new popularity of electric fans with a curbside breeze for a nickel kiosk model. Huh. A, a clockwork driven fan was designed to cool sleepers. And drive away insects. Insects. The mechanism was to run for six and a half hours, providing a cool night's sleep, but it was a far cry from the beauty and comfort of modern ceiling fans. Well, that looks like a fanimation palmetto. A typical paddle wheel fan system. This must be where the Fanimation Palmetto came from. That's 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 a Fanimation Palmetto. I, but I think th this was way before it actually came out. I think this is where they got the idea from. Cause, well, Tom Frampton is the inventor of Cosmo and he and he works at Fanimation, so that's probably why. So, and then pause if you want to read this. Pause if you want to read this. Pause if you want to read this. In the early 1900s, ceiling fans were part of many cooling schemes. Oh, I, th I think it's a Casablanca Victorian, if I'm not mistaken. And there's some more fans. I think this is in the, in the Casablanca showroom. And this is like, well, back then, it's, this is like what they're... Well, this was made in 18, or 1983, so... This is showing now the history of ceiling fans and now what their current styles were. This is the New Orleans. Pretty cool. That's the, uh, belt-driven fans were popular in the 1870s in New, in New Orleans. That's part why they got the idea from the name New Orleans. Okay. Cosmoco ceiling fan number one. I don't know what that is. It looks like a Victorian, but like ornate, I guess. But like the blades look like, kind of like with the reverse here on the originals. Or adapter or whatever. Then read, pause if you want to read this. I'm actually not going to read these little things because this video is already nine minutes long. So, it might take a little bit. Well, I mean, it's, it'll probably be quick to upload, but it'll take a little while longer than usual to upload. This is a centennial. Chapter 2.
I think this is a Casamanga Zephyr. It just talks about more uh, stuff about air. And Cathedral Ceiling. I think this is a Broadway Limited. I can't tell what that is. That's, I think it's a, it's a Victorian. I keep, I keep calling it a Zephyr. It's actually a Victorian. The ornate one. The one that, like, Camp de Mason Clare and One More Impressions, the design came... That inspired the design of the Hampton Mason Clare and the Walmart impressions in the Harbor Breeze New Orleans. I think this is a Four Seasons. I think that's a, a Panama 5, if I'm not mistaken. That looks like a Casablanca Victorian, but the blade arms are different. Different blades. Speed controls. Um, limited. This is on the front cover of this book. See, what's colored. Just talks about like air, like temperature and circulation. That looks like a fan. That's a fan. Looks like a Fanimation Punka. Huh. No wonder where Fanimation gets their original designs from because this is way before they Punka and the uh, uh, Palmetto came out, and I think the Palisade too. Uh, sloped ceilings, installing ceiling, fans. Attaching the blade holders to the flower. If I keep, I keep calling the Victorian the Zephyr for some reason. I don't know why. I forgot what that fan's called. It's on the stairwell at the Fanimation Museum. Just talking about more installation and energy saving tips for fans and lights. Or for fans with light kits. Or if you want to add on light kit or something like that. And just other, in general, energy saving tips like attics, windows, uh, seal, water heaters, and stuff. Alright, that's it. That's my, uh, one of my Easter presents I got. This is probably my favorite, I think, Casablanca fan book. It's not a, really a catalog, but it talks about Casablanca and talking about just, about just history of ceiling fans. So, yeah, that's it.